Hi, this is Greg Hagan. I'd like to talk to you about what I believe to be the definition of happiness. Uh, many years ago, as I started to become successful, I started buying stuff. And it was my dream to have fancy cars. And in fact, I'm embarrassed to say that I, at one point, at the height of all this, I had several, three actually very, very expensive cars, nine motorcycles and two airplanes. And, you know, that was crazy. I had to hire somebody to keep the batteries charged and all my stuff. And it was interesting because I'd always dreamed that one day when I was successful and had money, I have a big home and have everything I wanted to buy. And, and yet it was interesting because I was having coffee with a friend, a dear friend, his name is Bruce. And he's one of the wisest people I've ever known. And Bruce said to me, he said, Greg, you, you don't look like as happy and as enthusiastic as you normally always have been. And I said, you know, Bruce, it's true. I, I just don't feel like as happy and as on fire and as excited I've, as I've been the last few years, last 10 or 15 years. And he says, I know why. And I said, why? And he said, you don't understand the definition of happiness. And I said, really? And he said, Greg, happiness is that deep sense of satisfaction that comes from the enthusiastic pursuit of a worthwhile goal of your own choosing. He said, see, you're confusing purpose with pleasure. You see, happiness comes from having a goal, having a purpose. It's a deep sense of satisfaction down in your gut. He said, so many people in life think pleasures, buying stuff, having you know, fancy clothes, going to the store, eating chocolate cake, that that's going to, watching TV, that that's going to make them happy. What they don't realize is the guilt. They feel the guilt. The guilt is sub of, of doing that too much. It's okay to do, but the guilt is taking away from genuine, true happiness. So he said, Greg, he said, if you really want to be excited again, if you really want to be happy again, then get purpose again, because your purpose right now is just going out and buying stuff, going out and having pleasures, going out and seeing movies, going out to fancy dinners, buying $50, $100 bottles of wine. And he said, Greg, that is not happiness. Well, I want to tell you that that made such a difference in my life. From, from virtually the next day, I have not lived a day without having purpose. And by the way, I sold all that stuff because it was too much burden. And what's interesting is I tell my wife, Roseanne, that gosh, having purpose is like the best budgeting mechanism in the world because you don't have time to go out and buy anything because you're so excited all day about what you have purpose about. And so I just want to make a suggestion to you that if you're feeling sometimes a little guilt, a little emptiness, if you're not waking up with fire in your belly, totally excited, think about Bruce and think about the definition of happiness.